Let me show you a quick clip of a pillock. This, this whole Brexit thing, when, when, when mm. you know, you're judging them on, on, on Brexit, they don't know nothing about it. Who knows about Brexit? Yeah, of course. Uh, no one's got a f***ing clue what Brexit mm. is, yeah? You watch Question Time, it's comedy. Well, you know clearer when Jeremy Corbyn no, explains No, I got the clue. Policy. No one knows what it is. It's like this mad riddle that no one knows mm. what it is, right? Mm. So what's happened to that twat David Cameron oh. who called it on? <laughs> Let's be fair. Oh. I think what? you're referring no, to no, our no, former no, Prime no, Minister. Yeah, but why, how comes he can scuttle off? He called all this on. Mm. Yeah. yeah he has on. no regrets. Where's he, where is he? He's in Europe in Nice with his trotters <laughs> up, yeah? Where is the geezer? I think he should be held account for it. You know what? Think he should be held you know account it's for a, it. It's a valid point. A lot of people do feel Sweat. That, that all politicians, all politicians... What you've just seen there is a complete nause doing a bollocks about politics. I'll explain it in plain English. Danny Dyer's understanding of politics is pedestrian at best. He is a bit of a plank when it comes to politics. He may not have had a clue about Brexit, but there again, I didn't really expect him to. Um, he plays a bit of a plank in everything he does, and he acts like a bit of a naughty boy. So you wouldn't imagine, I mean, this is stereotyping people, but I'm going to do it anyway, because stereotypes are there for a reason, right? I wouldn't imagine him to be fully aware of any of the treaties that have ever been signed, um, what each party politically stands for, um, and any real grasp of the European Union. But there again, he's probably not meant to. He's an actor. He's there to entertain us and get paid handsomely for it. And that's what you should do. But this is just another example. I mean, at the moment, he's a little bit like our Robert... Well, he's he is our version of Robert De Niro. And we all know Robert De Niro at the moment is just... so Well, he's basically made himself completely unlikable by the American people for being one of the biggest bellends in the world. It does make you wonder, though, and this is something that's going on in my head, I've been thinking about a lot, that when Trump said, I'm going to drain the swamp, I think what he meant was, I'm going to expose all the paedophiles. Now, there's a lot of people in acting, as well as obviously in politics, who have been up to some pretty dodgy things, sleeping with people who turned out to be underage, or doing underage purposely, or some other really, really weird shit, and they do not want to be exposed. And I think this is why they've gone absolutely berserk over Trump getting in, because they are generally worried about their future. And if you've been up to that sort of stuff, good. I suggest you should be worried, because sooner or later, when the pendulum swings, as it is now, common sense will take over and we will investigate you perverted little bastards for all the things you've done. Now, I'm not suggesting Danny Dyer at all has ever been involved in that. I would suggest quite the opposite. I don't think he's that sort of guy at all. I think he's more meat and potatoes, right? But Danny, just stay off the politics. You you just stick to drinking cups of tea and being a naughty boy, all right? Anyway, I'm going to get on now and um, that's me mate just come home. So I'm going to go and annoy him. Thanks for watching and uh, don't be too hard on Danny. It's not his fault, you know what I mean? Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also press the bell button. As you can see in the picture, I have two YouTube channels and I'm on different platforms, so you can find me on many different spaces. If you want to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal. All donations are much appreciated. Yet again, thanks ever so much. Without you, this is all pointless.